All right, so let's take a look at an example problem again for Thevenin and Norton. Um, I've gone ahead and done the Thevenin work because I think we've done that enough times now. It's really just nodal. So, well, part of this one got erased. Let's just fix that. 50 volts. Okay, so here's the circuit we have. And V Thevenin is out here at our location AB. So that is this node right here, V Thevenin. So it's easy just to label it as V Thevenin. If we look here, we're given that Vx is here. We need to know that because of this dependent source. So it's easiest just to label this node as Vx. And from there, it's just a simple nodal. Vx minus 50 over 3 plus Vx over 6 plus Vx minus V Thevenin over 2 equals 0. So here's that equation. V Thevenin minus Vx over 2 minus 0.5 Vx plus V Thevenin over 10 equals 0. There's that equation. And we solve these two equations and two unknowns, and we get a Vx and a V Thevenin. So the next part of this, um, we have a choice now. We can either use a test voltage or test current to find R Thevenin and R Norton, or we can find I Norton directly using um, I short circuit. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. But then we are going to do the other method as well. So if I want to find I Norton directly, that's equal to I short circuit. So I want to short from A to B. So if I draw a short from A to B, let's just redraw that circuit real quick here. So we can see it a little bit better. Here's A, and I'm shorting that to location B. I'm keeping everything else the same here. Okay, so I've shorted this. That means that this resistor is useless, right? It's connected back to itself, so it's completely shorted out. There's nothing interesting or useful about that resistor. The voltage is zero because the potential difference between the two points is zero because they are the same point. So we can just get rid of that resistor altogether. And what we want to find is I Norton or I short circuit. I Norton's right there. So let's see what we can do. We can draw in a current um, here to better explain what we're doing. Let's call that I. And let's just do a KCL at this node. KCL, I is entering, 0 0.5 VX is entering, and I Norton is leaving. So there's my equation. I need VX and I. Well, I is going to be VX minus 0, because this node goes around to ground, over 2. So this is Vx minus 0 over 2 plus 0 0.5 Vx equals I Norton. So I need Vx. Let's do some nodal. Vx minus 50 over 3 plus Vx over 6 plus Vx over 2 equals 0. So if I solve that, I'm going to get a Vx of uh, 50 over 3. Plugging that back in up here, I'm going to get an I Norton of 16.67 amps. And that now means that my R Norton slash R Thevenin is equal to V Thevenin over I Norton. Or 10 ohms. Here's all the values. So that's finding I Norton directly. We're going to look at the other method. So we're going to find R Norton, R Thevenin, and use that to find I Norton. So again, lots of options for these problems. So for that method, that's when we add the test voltage. So remember, we have a dependent source. 
We can't deactivate a dependent source. That has to stay there. So we're going to deactivate this and add a test voltage out here. So we want to um, uh, use a test voltage of, let's select one volt. Again, that's arbitrary. You can select it to be whatever you want. One volt's just very easy. And I started to draw a source, but I don't want that, right? Because I need to deactivate that. So here's where that 50 was. Three ohms, still present. Six ohms with Vx across it, still there. Two ohms. My dependent source. My 10, right? We're using this circuit. 10 is present. Getting a little tight here on space. And go ahead and erase that. I'm done with it. Vt equal 1 volt. And what I'm looking for is it. I need this value. All right, again, let's look at um, uh, KCL right here at this node. And I have I2 entering. So I'm going to use another marker crawler real quick, just so we don't get too cluttered here. I'm going to call this I1, this I2, and this I3. So I just drew those however direction I wanted to, right? And so now I have lost mail, IT entering is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, all leaving. I1 is VT is at this node. So I1 is VT over 10, or 1 over 10. I2 is minus 0.5 Vx. And I3 is Vt minus Vx over 2. Again, Vt equals 1. So this leaves me with one unknown. Well, 2 because of the IT. But 1 on this side. There's my equation. So I need my Vx. What are we going to do? Nodal. Vx minus 0 over 3 plus Vx minus 0 over 6 plus Vx minus Vt, which is 1, over 2 equals 0. So solve that. Get Vx is 0.5 volts. So I need to use that up here. And when I do that, I get an IT of 1 tenth. So now I have R7 in slash R Norton is equal to VT over IT, or 1 over 1 tenth R7 in slash R Norton is 10 ohms. And that is the exact same thing we got over here. If we look at our I Norton, we're going to have I Norton will be V7 in over R7 in, or 166.7 over 10. I Norton is 16.67. 16.67. So two different ways to do the same problem. You do which way is more comfortable for you. And this will conclude chapter four.